Um, I want to give you guys just a few fan questions. Now, John's question was, what's your favorite Reggie White story? Reggie has a weakness. Yeah. And I knew what it was. And it was so funny. So I said, big dog, I know your weakness. I've been studying you. And number one was the breast of a chicken. <laughs> Fried chicken breast. <laughs> he eat 50 of them. No other part. He'll throw the legs, the wings, the thighs away. So if you want to get Reggie, get him some breast. Fry it, don't bake it. And miniature sausages. <laughs> Those miniature sausages, the small ones, yeah. he get like nine of them <laughs> and just mix them up and just bite it like a popsicle. The last thing, the most important thing, his weakness is a hard count from the quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie, Reggie would jump and when he tried to get back he'd pull a hamstring <laughs> <laughs> but he hated it hard count mm-hmm. he hated it. we laughed mm-hmm. so hard he was laughing uncontrollably for 20 minutes mm-hmm. cause those are three things that's his weakness we would laugh at ourselves mm-hmm. so no one can use it against you yeah that if he brought in a box of chicken don't nobody touch the breast. Mm. And he'll walk away. He come back, never breast. And it was funny. <laughs> Cause nobody, this big dog. Those are stories I think about we every can't day. Never, we can't it never just, get those days back. Nope. Mm. You know, and you just you, laugh. Just memories. Yeah. You know, I can, yeah. you know, you just sitting there one day you know, laying in the bed or something, and something stupid that happened in life. <laughs> You just start laughing. Yeah. Man. Like, that's just. That guy was awesome, man. Special like, places, man. Special places. What, what would you say your favorite memory with him was? It's the, it's the things that, you know, if it, if it was in a meeting room or or if we out on the field, uh, just, to, just to see him joke and laugh. Like, it was some of the best things. Like, we used to have a guy named Jermaine Smith. He used to be in the locker room. Him and Big Dog used to go back and forth. In the meeting room, you know, and 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 the things they would say would just be outrageous, but you can tell Big Dog had fun that day, you know, and and that's what it's all about. Nobody talking nasty stuff and stupid stuff. It's just good old comedy fun, mm-hmm. and and you can see him walking out the door with his jacket on, smiling, and I'm just like, see there, we're better than Philly. Mm. We're better than yeah. Philly. He like us better than Philly. Yeah. Yeah. You made the right choice. <laughs> he like us better than Philly. <laughs> it all boils down to everything started and ended with Big Dog. What did he say about like um, other people drinking or doing this, that, or You know what? He thing? didn't judge nobody. Mm. No, he didn't he did, judge really nobody. Did. He never yeah. pushed the Bible on nobody. No. Nope. You know? No. Nope. He, he he just tell you better get right. You know, and like, I, 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 I dislike flying to this day, but I said by Reggie when we was flying. You, you know remember that? Saying? Yeah, I just love just like it. Where were we coming from? Dallas or San Francisco? It was a long one. We flew through some turbulence. Okay. Mm. It was rough. Oh my God. Big dog made everybody feel at ease because he was being funny. And he didn't he wanted the the anxiety of the bumps Mm. was he got up and he said, Y'all wanna get your life right, you better come (laughs) sit up by me. And guys got up too. All, the, day. all the heathens get up and I'm gonna go with my Reggie. Cause Reggie's sitting on the black box, okay? He's not gonna get hurt. This guy's child. But Reggie was brilliant as just taking the negatives and flipping it around mm-hmm. to say, how can I get all these guys to forget about this? Mm-hmm. And it was amazing. And mm-hmm. I'm dead serious. Mm-hmm. After Reggie told that joke and experienced that, it smoothed out. Yeah. It's a true story. Yeah. Smooth out. That's how big he was and what he meant to us. Mm. And we miss him every single day. So two things can be true. You can be saved and still have a beer. Have fun. A go have fun. Just don't hurt yourself or nobody else. Mm-hmm. And you don't necessarily have to go to church every Sunday to be get your life right with God. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can... And that's what he wanted to bring. And that's why I amplified that message. Mm -hmm. Because he would, one time, he went to the bar, like all the the guys. I said, Reggie, you got to let the guys know that you're one of them. So he came there, and the guy saw him. It changed the the dynamic of the team. Because most guys, if a guy was smoking, so Reggie, oh, that's Reggie. 
Oh, he's drinking a beer. Oh, hide it. Like if your parents walk in. Yeah. Unless if you're from Wisconsin and get drunk with your parents. <laughs> That's another Allegedly. story. Allegedly. But you, you yourself, be yourself. And if you want it, I'm here for you. Mm. That's why we love it. So roll out the barrel and get the band brewing. Life's got you down. Just keep her moving.